asking ladies the questions. If you don't fit into this category, this is not being disrespectful. How many women in here, by round of applause, have managed to keep your weight under 117 pounds? Clap if you... That's a whole lot of people that clapped. Now, it's no disrespect for those of you that haven't. That ain't what this is about. But I do commend all you women that have managed to keep your weight under 117. I know how difficult that is. And I would like to say to all of you that have kept your weight under 117 pounds that after the show tonight, all y'all need to carry y'all's ass somewhere and get a goddamn sandwich. Cause your bony ass is too goddamn thin. You need to get some weight on your scrawny ass. See, oh, I know you thought you was the shit a minute ago. 117, that's me, 117. Oh, see, so you done fell into the bullshit. You been reading them magazines, thin is in, that's bullshit. See, you been looking at Cosmo and Vogue. You see all them women on the cover standing there. Oh, white women posing, trying to make her ass. Ass look like a paper cutter. Need to get some meat on your goddamn bones. See, I got to see, see a lot of y'all think cause you thin that you got it going on. See, when you thin, it's easy for you to get a man, but it's hard for you to keep a man. Cause your ass is thin. Oh, you look real nice in the summertime. Got that little string running up the crack of your ass. Little booty on each side, look all nice and shit. But God damn it, winter coming. And when winter get here, a real player want a woman that's kicking off some heat. You laying, nobody want to be laying up there next to your bony ass in bed looking like a goddamn guardrail. Need to get some weight on your ass. See, I got a new slogan. Forget thin is in. I got a new slogan. My slogan is thick is the lick. Oh, that's the shit there. There ain't nothing a real player loves more than to put his arms around his woman and discover that there's more to her than he thought it was. See, that's a hellified moment right there. See, you got a lot of problem with thin-ass women. Thin-ass women think they ass is something. I used, that's all I used to date was them big, tall, statuesque women. Because I like the way they look when they come in the room. You know, they had that stride. Just look, but that shit get old after a while. When you start living a little bit longer, start wanting something real out of life, you got to fuck that old thin look. I can't stand thin-ass women. When you go pick them up, their ass ain't ever ready. You know why? Because they think they ass is cute. Oh, you got to sit downstairs two, three motherfucking hours waiting on their little scrawny ass to get, what the fuck taking your bony ass so long to get dressed? Put a goddamn napkin on and bring your little bony ass downstairs. Kids climbing all on you, all of them got two, three kids, ain't none of them yours. They crawling all on your ass, calling you daddy way too early. You are the motherfucker, motherfucker, get on. God damn it, I ain't your daddy. Get your, get your motherfucking ass off me. And you can't cut ass to get nothing to eat. Every time you take a thin ass woman to get something to eat, she don't ever want what she want. You ever notice that shit? Be driving down restaurant road, their ass is so picky. Say, baby, how about that place right there? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Well, how about, uh, no, nah, uh-uh. Well, damn it, how about that place right now? They cook with grease. What the fuck is wrong with grease? Some of the best shit I ever ate in my life that had grease oozing all out the shit. Y'all got church's chicken up here? Well, God damn. Do you have Popeyes? You ever had that two piece and a biscuit for 99 cents? They give you that thigh, that motherfucker look like a ham? And you bite into it and grease be running all down your goddamn fuck. I don't cook with grease. What the fuck is you spitting in the skillet? Skinny ass women get on your goddamn nerves. See, that's why I like thick ass girls. Thick ass girls, boy. They know how to handle First of all, 
when you go pick up a thick girl to get something to eat, you ain't got to wait on they ass. Uh-uh, they ass been ready. God damn it, they sitting out on the porch. Let's go, let's go, let's go, motherfucker. God damn it, you said, hey, let's ride. God damn it, let's ride. Big girls be thinking of what they gonna order before they get to the restaurant. Girl, I'm gonna get the fried cheese sticks. I'm gonna get the stuffed mushrooms. I'm gonna get the 21-piece shrimps. And when you pull up, you ain't got to worry about they ass going to get them at the door. They ass see the car, damn it, they break. And when you get to restaurant row, see, that's what I like about thick ass girls. I like a woman that when I take her ass out to get something to eat, her ass get excited. When she see her favorite place, there ain't no picky shit going on. You bet not try to pass up a thick girl's favorite restaurant. She spot that motherfucker. You be driving. Oh, shit. Oh, no, you ain't trying to pass up the goddamn Dunkin' Donut. 